Hello. <coughs> Whoops. <clears throat> that was fun. That was cool. You're fine. <laughs> I am already sweating. Why am I stressed? I am cool down, girl. What's cooler than being cool? Ice cold. Hello, and welcome back to my living room in standard definition. That can only mean one thing and one thing only. We're doing, yes, another reaction video. So here's the deal. I was actually supposed to film my Jones Cut analysis video today. And I even said as much to you in a comment yesterday. Why you? Not general you. You know who you are. You. Why, why you? Whatever. I told them that I was going to be filming this soon. I didn't specify today, but I knew that I was planning on today. And not 30 minutes after I post that. Not 30 minutes after I post that. What does AMC do? They get on Twitter. And they say, hey guys, stay tuned for the ones who live tomorrow. We're going to be dropping our official trailer for season two of Interview with a Vampire. Now, am I saying that AMC is keeping tabs on me and releasing footage based on what I'm doing? That would be crazy. No, of course I'm not saying that. But I am insinuating it. But Autumn, they're doing their promotions for their upcoming season that's coming out in a few weeks and you're posting regular videos, like of course there's gonna be overlap. Yes, I know that. But why be rational when being irrational is so much more personally gratifying and fulfilling? So yeah, AMC, reach out, let's be besties. Um, Cause I know that like you're watching all of these anyways. Listen, did Narcissus intend to be spellbound by his own reflection when he stumbled upon that pool of water? No, but it happened anyways, okay? I did. I don't wake up in the morning wanting to be this self-absorbed. It just happens, okay? So let me be. Be my echo, okay? Look on in adoration and sadness. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. We got a new interview with a vampire. Official trailer, because apparently all this other stuff has just been, I don't know, garbage that's leaked out of the closet. That's a joke. Obviously. This is my third reaction video here, and I think it's time that we up the stakes here. I am gonna make some predictions about what I think is some things that might happen in this trailer. I'm gonna put forth three official guesses for what I think we're going to see. If I am wrong, I will have to take a shot for every guess I get wrong. So first up, these are mainly like more just like things that I wanna see. Um, so I think, I think Lestat might finally get to say something other than, ha! Huh! Number two, I gotta put Devil's Minion in there. I gotta see Armand and young Daniel palling around, okay? Palling around, and they were roommates. Oh my god, they were roommates. Number three, hmm, I'm kind of torn between, like, what to lock in as my guess for number three. Yeah, I'm gonna make it four guesses. We're gonna put, okay, 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 four guesses. Lestat speaks. Uh, Armand and Daniel, Devil's Minion happening, 70s. Um, Nicholas sighting and Claudia and Madeline together. You know, maybe some like little doe eyes, a little bit of lesbian love action going on. I, can't, I have to keep reminding myself that we actually don't have any confirmation that like Claudia and Madeline are gonna be lesbians together, but it's happened. It's already happened in my mind, and that's how it's going down. Here's to the lesbians out there. This is coffee, but cheers. Why am I drinking coffee at 9.30? This is gonna go terribly for me. Oh my god. Where would I be without lesbians? Who knows? A dark and sad place. Okay, well, um, predictions are locked in. Let's go to YouTube. Love a thumbnail. Let's see. I've got my emotional support pillow, as always, very important for me. Interview with the Vampire Season 2 official trailer. Okay. It's literally just Louis' face on him. You've seen it before. <laughs> I love him so much. I'm fine. You know what I said? Leading up to this, I was like, actually, I feel like I'm gonna be a lot cooler and calmer this time around because 
the Jones cut was the first like big chunk of uh, footage that I've seen since July of last year. And now that I have that out of the way, I feel like I'm gonna go into this a lot more chill. And leading up to it, I did think so. But I'm unraveling already, just looking at the thumbnail. <gasps> okay, get it together. Quiet, shut up, shut up. There are children sleeping. Okay. All right, let me define the log. What do you have for me? Dominoes. Okay. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm the registered vampire of the ninth Aaron D. Small. Yeah, he is. <gasps> the, the park. Capture, discipline, <gasps> and regret. Wait, stop the day. Oh, oh, oh! <gasps> every detail right. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Oh my God. Hi. And bring the petite Gucci. Ah! I get it, girls. <laughs> uh, this would be a time to take a break, Louis. <sighs> yes, girl. Stage. He's so video. down bad. Oh my god! Get into it. Oh my god. I want to tell the real story. <laughs> Holy sh Get it together. Get it together. <sighs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Mary had a little Mary. Okay, can you? <sighs> uh, 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 okay, I really need words to come to me <sighs> right now, please. Okay, uh, the greatest actor who ever lived. Hello, can somebody say pussy down bad? Pussy down bad. <laughs> Holy shit. Just like watching in the audience. Oh my God. Not like dip back from what's that off the stage. Hello, am I ovulating? I think so. If I wasn't before, I am now. Jesus Christ. We got a little glimpse too of season uh, episode five the fight stop shaking so much coffee was a bad idea coffee was a bad idea uh, louis throwing lestat like against the wall or like going uh and claudia saying it was never about me it never was and that's heartbreaking because it should have been about her. She took Louie along the whole time. This whole time. She was like, me and you. And she was never, ever his top priority. Anyone's top priority. Oh my god. Daniel being like, hey guys. Um, I don't give a shit about you and what you've got going on. I immediately got derailed. To finish out this thought, he's like, I don't give a shit about what you guys got going on. 
but I need to figure out what I got going on, okay? So shut the fuck up and sit the fuck down. Uh, that's, huh? Armand being like, Louis, uh, I think we should take a break. You fucking would, wouldn't you, babes? I mean, uh, I, uh, there's so many things like stacked up on top of each other where I'm like, I need to immediately watch it again. So what did I say? What did I say? Lestat speaks. He did. He did. You and me exist in, what, two different realms now? That's spooky. So I got that one right. Um, what else did I say? I said Devil's Minion and we didn't. So I have to take a shot for that. Let's see. What else did I say? Nicholas. No, Nicholas. I said Claudia and Madeline. We didn't really get any more to Claudia and Madeline. So I was, I was off on all counts except for one except for one so all right buddies let's uh let's get this going um what do we think i've got sugar water here i've got uh water water i've got coconut water i've got pine tree water and i have devil water what should i go for okay because i've been reviewing footage from the jones cut like a mofo okay so it's nice so that scene of Armand walking up to Louis in the park that's ah, him inviting them to the theater de vampire theatre de vampire sorry gonna get my French out there I love that you know he gives them a card which I mean he did in the book too but it's just like a fun little detail that like you know Lestat when he first met Louis gives him a card you know with his name on it in gold, can I just say, like, power move. It literally had no other information other than just like, here, bitch, this is my name, um, remember it. If you forget, it's written on the card for you, okay? <sighs> like, there's not a number on there, there's not an email, like, this is purely just to be like, and like, sashay away. That's a power move, I respect that. I should do that. Just like start putting Autumn Brown on cards, no other information, and giving them out to people. And they'll be like, who the fuck is Autumn Brown? And then I'll pop up and be like, it's me, bitches. And then I'll disappear. But yeah, so Armand also gives him the card and hmm, like fun little, I don't know, Details overlapping there. Louis was in the red room. He was developing that photo that Claudia took of him, was he not? I mean, it was a photo of himself, right? Like, do we think that I, oh, now I can't remember like what the photo was. I just know it was of Louis. Is Louis like setting up a tripod and taking selfies? Can you imagine? He's like putting ads in the classified, like hot vamp looking for more. Hit me up at this address. <laughs> Hit me up at this park if you want to hang out. <laughs> Okay, what shots are we taking? You know what? Okay, here's the deal. Okay, 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 okay. For vampire shit, I've got some uh, pomegranate liqueur. We're gonna do some of this guy, but not a whole lot, but I want that coloring because we gotta make it look like I'm drinking blood or like what's even the point of all of this, guys? Okay, look at that. Oh yeah, baby, that is... Mmm, get a lot of her, honey. Hell in Georgia, everybody. Hidden treasure of the Smoky Mountain foothills. Cheers. This is too, um, fucking Claudia. You deserved more, honey babes. <laughs> I do have to say, I thought that... Honestly, I did think that this was going to be like reusing a lot of footage that we've seen already. And they did, you know, I, there were clips that like we have seen already. But this was a lot of new stuff, like new clips of like that shot of Claudia in the theater for the first night. <sighs> Can I just like put bubble wrap around her and ship her back to the States before anything bad happens? I honestly was not expecting as much... <laughs> quite the onslaught of new stuff that we did get. I thought that this would be like pretty much kind of a rehash of what we've already seen because I do think that they want to keep a lot of stuff, you know, close to the, their cards close to the, oh my god, why can I never think of this phrase? I do think that they want to keep quite a few cards close to their chest. I still have like all the questions that I had um, before going into this are still there. I don't 
think that this trailer answered any questions that I've come up with, except for it actually like a couple, but they're like smaller questions. I have like big overarching questions. What am I saying here? So it didn't answer any of those like big questions that I have about where this is going. And I don't think it gave me any more clarity on where my different theories lie, but it still managed to give us new footage that we haven't seen before that's going to drive me crazy <laughs> that I can't wait to throw in my editing program and like look frame by frame through as I've been doing with literally everything else. We've gotten so much footage that I've just like not been able to talk about yet that I'm dying to talk about because we obviously got the extended look Plus, like, was it two? It was the day before. They had, like, two little Instagram ads. I think they were only, like, 15 seconds or something. But they had new stuff, including some Devil's Minion, Armand and Daniel talking. And then, like, some other stuff with, like, Madeline and some surreal, like, nightmare maybe uh, footage from, like, her past type of things. Can I just say how stylistic this second season is? Um, number two, this is to um, thirsting over guys who will never be into you because same girly. We've all been there, haven't we? Ouch. Hmm, a kiss with a fist is better than none, am I right, Armand? But that's Armand and Lestat, just like, love you. Ah, push you off a tower. <laughs> Can you, are we gonna see that? Are we gonna see that this season? I don't think so, because I don't think Armand is gonna reveal that. But I think in the next season, when we get Lestat's story, oh, he's for sure spilling the tea. And be like, and also, this bitch, this bitch, uh, killed my daughter, made me think my husband was dead, then took me to the top of a tower, said, love me. I said, ah, sorry, babe, I just don't think so. And he pushed me out of my own home. <sighs> Broke all of my bones. I was like this. What am I to do like this? I was like putting on that floor, okay? Putting. Fuck you. <laughs> That's their relationship. I'm gonna save this last shot for after my second viewing because I just have a feeling that I'm gonna need it. We're gonna watch this again, as always, because I mean, oh my God, I am so, ew, ew, you can't, I am sweating. Why do I get so sweat? Oh, I'm gonna have to watch this whole season in a fucking bathing suit. I'm gonna get rid of my couch I'm gonna replace it with a kiddie pool, fill it with ice cubes, and just float along while I'm watching. I'm not gonna change. I'm not gonna change. I'm gonna keep my pants on. Okay. <sighs> okay. Am I emotionally ready to watch this again? Why did it feel so quick? I swear to God, it was 30 seconds. And yeah, I'm looking at the time and it's apparently two minutes and 20 seconds, which I'm sure the last 20 seconds are probably like the AMC title card, but still two full minutes. It did not feel like two minutes. Like the extended look, it was fantastic. But like I've, I felt the whole timetable of the extended look. Whereas that, maybe, the, maybe it's the caffeine. <laughs> It's just short wiring my brain. I don't normally drink coffee and I'm drinking it at night. Oh, I'm never gonna go to bed. Bottoms up though, right? No doubt about it. I am ready to be heard again. <laughs> okay. Oh. How are you, Lily? I'm the reticent vampire of the night there on these small. I walk the night, catch and disappoint. Okay, so, hmm. Okay, the shot of him walking in the park, I'm so glad we got that because there was a little clip of that from the Jones cut and I was like, hmm, what is this? Who is this person walking up to him? And now I know, now I know it's Armand. Is it not? Maybe it's not. Oh, I shouldn't make these questions until I can put it, frame, match the frames up together. <sighs> Let's see. Okay, he's in the red room. <gasps> Shut up. Fucking 
believable. My birth control alarm went off and stopped recording, so we're taking it back a little bit. Let's see. Okay. Wait, no, I said we're taking it back. Are we going to play? Here we go. Okay. Who are you, Lily? I'm the reticent vampire of the ninth hour on these moments. Oh, baby. I the night to capture disappointment and regret. Wait, stop the day. That is the photo of him that Claudia took. Who are you, Louie? Who are you outside of me? There was no me, and there was no him. Who would you be? <sighs> okay. We should get I'm so sorry. Detail. There were like... I'm listening. There were like five different... Five, five different shots in that one little thing. One with a step. Okay. Capture disappointment and regret. Wait, stop the tape. We should get every- What is that with the gravel? I have to get this. Ugh. Oh, I can't... I can't get it frame by frame. Hold up, wait a second. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just noticed when I paused that the next recommended video is mine. Girl, YouTube, you don't have to recommend that shit to me. I've seen it, trust me. <laughs> I know, I'm well aware what Autumn Brown has posted and put out there. Like, who's coming out of the gravel? Like, that was in such quick succession that I can't even comprehend what was going on there. I've got to get this into my fucking editing program. Is that what I should be doing? We're gonna, hmm, hmm. Let me think. Is that what I should be doing? Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. What's going on? You hear that wind outside? Holy cow. Toto, jump in the basket. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. We've done a quick setup change because I gotta, I gotta look through this frame by frame because listen, after the Jones cut, there were so many things that I was like, oh my god, if only I could have slowed this down, I would have like cat caught on to this. I'm at my computer feeling feeling great. Got a microphone in my hand again, finally. Um, have better lighting, and uh yeah, let's go from here. Let's watch it from here. What do we think? What do we think, girls? Good idea? Bad idea, right? Okay. Hello, girly. Why are we there? Take it back. Girl, what the hell? Oh, real quick. Doing my third and final shot for being fucking wrong as shit. I was so wrong, you guys. I almost said no one's ever been more wrong in their life, but it's Easter Sunday and um, Judas exists. So <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay. This is my, my blood. Hey, everybody, quick shout out to Jesus. <laughs> Here's to you, my dude, for rising, much like my good buddy Lestat de Lioncourt, after being presumed dead. This, the symbolism never stops, okay? Where does Jesus Christ end and Lestat de Lioncourt begin? I don't know, they're kind of, you're kind of the same person when you think about it. To everybody who hasn't read the books and is not aware, no matter how good of a Catholic you think you are, you are not as good as Lestat de Lioncourt is because you may think that you're going into communion drinking the blood of Christ, but you know who drank the real, actual blood of Christ? That's right, the main, blonde, bad, bodacious bitch, Lestat. He sucked off Jesus, okay? I didn't say it, and Rice said it. You don't believe me, do you? Just you wait. Where is it? I should have this like dog-eared and bookmarked. It's literally like my fave. <laughs> Why did I say I had licked away even what I collect on the pad that <gasps> <laughs> Can you read that? It says get a hold of yourself, man. If you haven't read the book, um, I'm not going to tell you what that is in reference to, but if you had read the book, um, let's just say it's about a, a certain time 
a certain time of the month that comes around. If you know, you know. If you don't, read the books. <laughs> Get in the know. Where is this fucking passage? This video cannot go on till I find this. You should be pointing towards me. Ah! Where the fuck is it? I underlined it. I made notes. Here we go. Finally fucking found it. <laughs> Lestat, he said, he being Jesus, his voice so feeble and torn I could scarce hear it. You want to taste it, don't you? <laughs> Lord, what are you saying? I cried, my words so full of tears I could scarce control, control, Jesus Christ, literally, control them. The blood, taste it, taste the blood of Christ. To which I put one, two, three, four, five exclamation points. Skipping ahead. The blood of God, Lestat, he whispered. Think of all the human blood that has flowed into your lips. Is my blood not worthy? Are you afraid? <laughs> Sobbing, I cupped his neck with both my hands, my knuckles against the crossbar, and I kissed his throat. And then my mouth opened without will or struggle, and my teeth pierced the flesh. I heard him moan! <laughs> a long, echoing moan that seemed to rise up and fill the world with its sound, and the blood flooded into my mouth. Jesus! Have some decorum, you're about to be murdered. Do you see my notes? Do you see my notes? <laughs> I had to put the book down and walk around my apartment for an hour and a half after I read that. An hour and a half. And I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna finally take that shot for being so wrong about the trailer. I was so wrong, you guys. Here we go. We waited to break down this trailer frame by frame in real time. Real time. I'm excited about this. I've not done anything like this before. This is a totally new venture. Is anyone out there doing it like me? I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, frame by frame, let's go. Who are you, Louie? I'm the reticent vampire of the night there on these small. Yes, you are, I baby. The night, capture disappointment and regret. Okay, babes, where are we? So this is the red room. I wonder if this is part of if Louis like fitted this out in his apartment that they have or if he goes somewhere um, to get these pictures developed. This actually, uh, this kind of looks like a kitchen actually. Do we think that he's fitted out their kitchen? Because why would they, they have no need of using the kitchen. Yeah, I think that he's fitted out his kitchen to be the red room. Do you know what? I ask and ye shall receive. Listen to this guys. Okay, last week I'm on a walk and what do I stumble upon? A fucking full, unopened, still sealed bottle of wine. I take that bitch home with me. I drink all of it. It was decent. It was fine. But the universe just said, hey Autumn, you want some wine? You're pretty broke right now. Here you go. And you know when I was looking through the Jones cut? I was like, damn, I really wish we had more footage of Louie in that red room. Ask and ye shall receive. I have received. Thank you very much, Jesus Christ, on this Easter Sunday. I think this is their kitchen. We stopped the date. That's definitely the photo of him uh, that Claudia took on the Who Are We clip. Who, who are we? Who are you? <laughs> you? You're out there. Hey, buddy. Okay, 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 this is what I wanted. Holy shit. Claudia, looking scared as hell. This is, so this is Eastern Europe because I recognize her costuming here. They're in the woods as well. This is probably, I'm sure, when uh, Louis might be getting attacked by that revenant vampire, that oh so glamorous little gal. So, Claudia. Oh! <laughs> marry me oh my god hair luscious she's on the keratin program okay she's got the horse shampoo going on and her regimen okay look at these fucking curls look at these waves oh my god oh 
Armand, I get you, boo. I get you. Doesn't matter if this bitch rejected me over and over again. I would still be after that. I'm guessing this is probably from the episode five revisit, though. That whole fight, that whole showdown, just since we've gotten clips of it before. And even in this trailer, that's what I'm guessing this is from. Stare into my soul. Oh, my God. I feel like if I just keep looking into his eyes, I'm just going to start levitating out of the seat. Louie, blood around him coming up out of the gravel in a box. Okay, okay, okay. Guessing, is this from Louie being buried by the Teatre uh, in a coffin full of gravel? I mean, that's stylistic, isn't it? I'm props for that. That's original. Fuck you guys for like trying to take down my boo and taking away my daughter, but also at least you're doing it with a little bit of pizzazz. Like I gotta give you something for that. Louis, oh my God. You're bleeding, baby. Hmm. Lestat covered in blood, Louis covered in blood. The parallels, okay. This shot, that's from the Jones cut that we saw earlier. Daniel moving the microphone before. I am ill. I'm sick in the head. Why do I recognize a close-up like this? I shouldn't. We should get every detail right. Yes, you should, baby. Yes, you should. And is that... I think that's a collared shirt. Did we? Collared shirt. Give me one second. File. Open recent project. Jones cut analysis. I'm gonna add this actually. Timelines. Create new timeline. I'm gonna call this Oh Fish. Bish. <laughs> also, can I just say I love the whole title of this YouTube video is Interview with a Vampire Season 2 Official Trailer Premieres May 12th AMC Plus. <laughs> Girl. Take a breath. You ain't gotta fit everything into the title. Leave some for the description. <laughs> but I get it. We have to get every detail right. Claudia's diary is open right here, so I'm sure that there's gonna be some, like, confirming between what Louis remembers, what Claudia remembers, and trying to fill in the gaps there. But let's go back to timelines, Dubai. Here we go. Louis looks like he's in that collared shirt from this very, like, opening scene that we got from that trailer that was released in July. Armand is in this white shirt that later on in this trailer, we see him be like, Louis, do you want to, like, maybe take a break and, like, um, get back on the same page? Because we're starting to unveil things that I don't think we should unveil. Huh. Interesting. I'm listening. This is not... These two sequences are not sequential, okay? Daniel and this. Obviously, he's in this, like, sweatery thing. Detail, right. I'm listening. And he's in this uh, gray shirt here, which there's so many things. Like, I'm trying to decide what I want to tell here and what I want to say for my Jones cut analysis. But, like, I don't know. This, I think... I think that this is going to be Daniel talking to Armand because this is the same shot. This shot is from, it's from the start the tape. Okay, let's go back to, I guess, Dubai. Hmm. Oh. Oh. So this, from the start the tape clip, which I do think that these two clips are se sequential. Okay, so I started to explain why I felt this way, and then I said, no, I'm gonna save that for my next video, but screw it. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish out the explanation here. Essentially, the reason why I think these shots from the start the tape uh, clip are sequential is from that shot at the beginning of the Jones cut, where Armand is folding up at the bookcase, Daniel is walking into the scene into the tree room, Armand is in a brown button down, Daniel is in this dark gray crew neck, which we see later on in that start the tape clip. They're in those same clothing. So I think that this is a one-on-one -on -one between 
Daniel and Armand, but I have more thoughts about that that I will save. I'm listening. He's talking to Armand here, okay? That's what I'm saying. I'm listening. Yes. Again, this was one of those clips that I was like, ah, if I just had like a couple more seconds, I could figure out what this is involving, like what this scene is, and I got it. So these are like some of the little questions that I had that are being answered with this trailer. But again, there are some overarching questions that I am still very much lost at sea about, lost at sea stream, Robert Grant on Del Rey. Come. Like. Is that the whole business card though? Do they have anything on the back? Cause I mean, I'm kind of like Patrick Bateman judging them if this is the entirety of their business card. Like at least the stats had some flair. Why just have it down there? Unless there's like some sort of like national treasure, put some lemon juice on it, put it in the oven type secret message on there. I bet that's what Armand did. He was like, hey, light this up in your fun little red room kitchen. In this like blank space, it just says, fuck me. <laughs> That's canon. That's real. I'm saying it. Roland Jones, pull up to my apartment and tell me that I'm wrong. I bet you won't, because you know I'm right. And bring the petite beauty. Ooh, lights flickering. Hello. So yeah, this is definitely, this is definitely Louis' outfit in the park. Here, where are we? Here we go. Yeah. This is for sure. Because this was one... Like one of those where I was like, I wish I had two seconds more where I could figure out who maybe this is walking forward and approaching Louie here. Louie's like, oh my God, how are you doing that with the light? You're so powerful. <gasps> Why am I getting a hot and bothered? Same guy, same. That French accent that he's doing? Hello? girls hmm this shirt though with the vest hold on wait a second wait a second where is the who are you okay where is who are you <gasps> is this later that same night i think it is i think it is oh my god Claudia is making discoveries of her own. She goes out. She sees Madeline in the shop. Hmm. Hello, love. Hello, amore. Louis goes out on his own. Sees who? Out in the park? Um, uh, that'd be Armand. Yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh. I love this. Okay, reaction videos. We're taking it to the computer every time. Okay, entering the theater. Ooh, Armand Mari. What is this? Armand Marius. We did see, we did see a behind the scenes photos where I, th yeah, they listed Armand's name as Armand Marius, which, hey girls, if you know, you know, Marias, impulsion to, I don't know what that is. I do wonder, I've made, I wonder if Armand is actually going to uh, make an appearance on the stage or if he's just going to be kind of like considered the owner of the theater and everything like that. Because, you know, in the books and even in the movie, he does pop up and he's like, um, yes, it's me, Gentleman Death, here to take you to your uh, final moments. And I wonder if we'll see that. I hope we'll see that. Swoon. Okay, Louis and Claudia entering the theatre on their very first night. They got posters on the ceiling and everything. God damn, girls, you got it covered. Ladies and gentlemen. Ugh. <coughs> Sorry. Excuse me. Get it together, girl. This is from the first night, though, because this is the same outfit that he's wearing when he introduces Louis and Claudia to the theatre. I am kind of okay. I am interested. So here, let's see. 
Okay, so this is not the crowd that's from Louis and Claudia's first night here. Because Louis and Claudia's first night here, the crowd is a little bit more sparse. And I'll show you that in just a little bit. This is def this is okay, there's Claudia right there. So Louis's gotta be next to him because I can tell by her headband. And this is what Santiago is wearing on their very first performance. Also, god damn, these fucking angels with their skulls. Ugh. This might turn into like kind of my Jones cut analysis because I think I'm gonna borrow a lot of stuff that I was gonna use for that. Ugh. <laughs> Keep it in your pants on him. Okay. Here we go. This is Santiago on the very first night that Louis and Claudia are in the audience. And I know that they're in the audience because look at them right there. Look at them right there. That's her in that shawl with the little headband. There's Louis over there. Like I said, more sparse crowd than the one that we just saw in the trailer. And Santiago is in this, this little get up here. So this is from Claudia and Louis' first introduction to Theatre. Whereas this, there might be a costume change though. That is something, I mean, that happens in theaters. So this could be, but no, actually no. Because in my <laughs> research for the Jones cut, I was looking at the hair. His hair is slick back here. Whereas here, he's definitely got the wave. And you can't just change that that quickly in a costume change. So uh, this is not from the very first performance. This is a separate performance. Oh my god! Oh my god. Delaney! Girl! Stop it! I'm in love already! I don't need to fall any more in love than I already am! It doesn't need to happen, guys. She can stick around, right? We can change that. It's not too late to change that. Perhaps this would be a time to take a break, Louis. <sighs> I'm fine. I feel fine. Oh my god, look at that face. Daniel's like... I don't fucking think so. I'm getting into the good shit now. We better not take a fucking break. Oh. Jacob. Jacob. Need I say more? Jacob Anderson. Why is his name not on every tongue in the world? Okay. All eight billion of us should be chanting out night after night jacob anderson jacob anderson jacob and keep it going on him yes it does it's different here i love it i never want to leave the coven has grand designs for her bitch no 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 armand babe we gotta have a talk, okay? We gotta have a real and honest talk here. You're on some shit that I'm just not about. Girly, I get that you've been through a lot. Same, but we gotta get on the same page here. There are things you do and things that you don't do in order to get a man. And um, one of the things that you do need to do is like go out and have brunch with the girls. Hit me up. We'll get some mimosas sometime, some Bloody Marys, some real actual Bloody Marys and um, have a good old goofy girly time of it. You don't need to make it other people's problems. We're all suffering. We all want love and just can't seem to find it. You don't need to brush your problems off onto innocence. All right. The next time you're considering filicide, maybe just like call your girl Autumn up and say, hey, should I do this? And I'll talk you down. I'll talk you down. Okay. They have grand designs for her. This is from that clip of like Louie coming back. <laughs> looking sheepish as hell if I do say so. I mean, boy, you couldn't look more sheepish if you were out on the hills of Ireland being herded by a border collie. Jesus Christ. Do border collies herd sheep? I think so, right? 
That's the border that they're keeping in their name, right? I don't know. God damn. Look at him. Now that's the bowl of ice cream I'd like to dig into on a hot summer day, if you know what I'm talking about. Oh! Oh! She's beauty and she's grace! She's Miss United States! Who is he? Oh my god. Jesus, can you like let us know who that handsome man on the wall is? No, I'm not talking about you, okay? The other one. Well, yeah, I know that you're the same person, but still, like, different bodies. The finest actor ever to walk our stage. Let's start. Look at that face. Look at that face. That's a face that says, oh my god, there's an alleyway right over there. How about you and me? We just, like, explore. I mean, what is an alleyway other than, like, a gaping hole waiting to be filled shame you shame. Me. who said that who said that i know that wasn't that wasn't me that was somebody else how dare you filth get out of here we don't need that we don't need that who asked for that is that hold on wait a second is that though here we go <gasps> is that the same outfit i think this might be the same outfit let's see we got this shirt here maybe it and either an ascot or another shirt, plus this dusty looking musty thing, another coat, and then a cape. Let me boost up this color here. <gasps> this might be the same outfit. However, I do have to say that, I mean, Les Innocent era, Armand, he's probably not changing his outfits from day to day, so just because he's in the same outfit doesn't mean it's from the same day because Les Innocents, Children of Satan, them guys were crusty, musty, dusty little fellas, okay? Little gremlins in the ground. They're not like looking at the mirrors. They're not brushing themselves up every day saying, oh my God, babes, we got to hit the town and like make these bitches crawl like Lestat and his mommy Gabrielle are doing. All these females crawl. Oh, ski ski motherfucker. That is not what they are saying. Lestat de Leon call. Boy. <sighs> just like go ahead and take me into heaven now. All right, just do it. <laughs> I don't need to see anything else. I've already seen it all. Thank you, Lord. Girl, you see how he's bending? Okay, this is for sure from the stats performance at Renaud's, aka what will then later on become the Théâtre de Vampire, where he's doing his like crazy unsettling vampire performance where he actually ends up like freaking out the crowd by being too like freaky deaky and weird. And yeah. Freaky deaky and weird. I love it. That's my type. Bending back like he's made out of Play-Doh. I mean, Jesus Christ, what is your spine made out of? Rubber babes? I mean, just like print it out and tape it to the ceiling over my bed. Oh my god. I've seen this outfit somewhere. Louis, he's recently fed. <laughs> Louis. Look at these nails. Can I just say, oh my god. Oh my god. Nail budget said hello. I know that they got gels this season. Sam Reed said a revelation to quote. And boy, are they. They look gorgeous. We both now exist in two different worlds. <laughs> hello. Yeah, so as I said, we got Lestat speaking, saying more than just, huh, and, um, it's not good for the hormones, can I just say, not good for the hormones. What is this from? God, I, like, can't immediately pick it out. Hold on, wait a second. No. No. <gasps> See that? That's the shirt that he's wearing after he turns Madeline. <gasps> so the blood on his shirt, Madeline's blood. How are you feeling about that, Louie? 
I don't know that he's feeling good about it. They're going the book route. He's not feeling good about it at all. Huh. Can I just say, can I just say, um, in the Jones cut, it actually turns to uh, Lestat looking directly into the camera. And the way that I felt both of my ovaries just pop immediately. I uh, had to go to the hospital. 911 was called, so. Oh! The Coven Master has the power of life and death. The Coven Master has the power of life and death. I mean, that's pretty... It's pretty telling, because, I mean, that's Santiago talking right there. I wonder if this is part of the, part of a performance, because it sounds very theatrical the way that he's announcing that. I wonder if maybe they're going to tell, like, a story of themselves, sort of, the theatre, in one of the performances. It would be very, like, meta, but also fitting. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. But that shot of um, Armand here jesus christ deep v down to the belly button hey you can do more if you want in that chair hold up yes babe be brooding be moody burn your sorry ass little bitch followers who you just don't feel like are vibing anymore that's what happens that's what happens but he's not wearing the vest though in that, like, promotional photo that they released. Is that Armand? Is that Armand? Love all the, like, details, though, with each one, all the different, like, photos and, like, mirrors and everything. Like, this person doesn't look like they have a mirror. Is this a speaker here? Interesting. I wonder if that, like, music box or whatever that Claudia was looking at is somewhere. <gasps> oh, you know. <gasps> Oh, that box. Oh, this box. You know what that box probably is? Girl. Yeah, she kind of is Sherlock Holmes. She is a master detective. She is Nancy Drew. She is... I want to say the Beastie Boys, but that's a band from the, like, 90s and 2000s. Who were the boy detectives? It's not Jersey Boys, either. What the hell? Hardy Boys. Ah, oh, Hardy Boys. How could I forget? Hardy's. Best fast food biscuit you can get. Hello. Carl's Jr., they just don't stand up. They just don't stand up. Hmm. Okay. Little gifty. Little something-something. For the Lulu. For the Lulu. Upon further reflection, I'm not so convinced, but... I was just so darn proud of myself. I had to keep it in the video. <laughs> will you abide by the laws? I will. So this is for sure from like that kind of induction ceremony that we saw. We've seen from um, the very first trailer that they released in July, the Who Are You clip that they released in February of Claudia like being lifted up by the theatre. I'm guessing, I mean, she's in black and everything. So I'm guessing that for this, she was probably working some sort of like backstage role, some sort of initiation there. And then from here, we'll then be allowed to maybe like pursue something on stage which later on we'll see with her in the blue dress and everything looking absolutely darling i will you've remembered <laughs> you've remembered oh daniel in this fucking sweater again great sweater by the way carol cutshaw like fantastic styling it's a great sweater i love it i want it can you send one to me? Claudia, I'm remembering it now. Claudia, I'm remembering it now. Again, that's just fueling. It's fueling my belief that Louis does not, like, know Armand's role in Claudia's death here. And it's coming together. He's again, uh. I've mentioned in the past, the black hoodie. This is something that we, uh, so we have, like, this clip from uh. Start the Tape. Was it start the tape or who are we? One of those clips where he's like, I don't, I don't remember any of this. And then we have like this clip here where he's like, you know, that quote of those pieces, like pieces gone. I knew who I was without those pieces or something like that. 
um, from the extended look. We also have this. Yeah. Yeah. From the very first uh, trailer that they re released in July. Them in the tree room looking at each other. Shit is getting real. Shit is getting so real. This is again, though, this is Daniel at that table with Lily wearing the polo, Armand in that white shirt being like, do you think we should take a break? So again, these clips are not necessarily like sequential to each other. I'm remembering it now. Oh. Hold up. Okay, wait, 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 wait. That that brown kind of checkeredy vest here hmm one second Let them have them. from the jones cut from the jones cut <gasps> Okay, so here's the thing. So that shot of Louis beat up, bruised up in that outfit. He's obviously in Paris. The only reason why he would be that beat up would be after the the coven beat him up. But why would he be like sitting there like that unless this is after he's been exhumed from the grave, figuring out what to do? Oh my God, is that after he finds... Is that after he finds... <sighs> Claudia because this okay oh my god oh my god this I kind of wondered watching this Armand giving him the kiss him looking pensive I wondered if if that was the same outfit from this shot with Claudia in that yellow dress so we know this proceed this little like outing precedes the trial Madeline she's got the blue shirt on underneath here but with this shot, I didn't think that this looked like Armand had stripes on his shirt, which he does in that clip of like Armand leaning in to kiss. But it could just be because he's blurred out. He's not the focus here. So, you know, it blurs out the lines. Okay, what I'm saying is, if this is, that's definitely from the trial. This is on trial. This is fucking on trial because look at that in the background. That's got to be, that's like the stenographer. Oh, oh my God. So this is definitely for sure trial night. This is what he's wearing. And that means that, yeah, we knew that this happens right before the trial because Armand, uh, Armand, because Claudia is in this yellow dress here. But that also means that these clips, these cute clips of Armand giving Louis this tender, loving kiss, and Louis smiling, because I thought that this looked like a restaurant, the restaurant that they were sitting in, <gasps> is from <gasps> trial night, and Armand knows what's gonna fucking happen, what's about to fucking happen. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my God, yeah. Yeah, that's Louis on the stage here. Because that's, look at this. That's Louis. And that's the guy behind him. <sighs> I'm going to be sick. <gasps> oh, they beat you up bad. I'll kill him. I'll kill him again. I know you already did, but I'll fucking kill him again. Oh my god. And doing this in front of like an actual like audience she's beat up too oh I'm killing I'm killing oh I know that the coven gets what they got coming to him but I just want them to get what they got coming to him again and again and again it's never been about me oh, baby girl Okay, so this is definitely, this is definitely proceeding. Hello. So this happens first. Armand grabbing Louis's face here. 
Louie stepping away. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. I wonder if this is like on the way to Paris or just like Eastern Europe in general. All those years. Look how red her eyes look. That captured me uh, on the first watch through here. Hey, baby boo. I hope you're doing all right. Well, you're not. You're clearly not. Oh, God. Coming back. do it i can't watch season two it's sorry it's not gonna happen <laughs> game over game over man game over <sighs> he's in the polo though so this is when like revelations are really hitting the fan okay so i think whatever episode that's gonna be this is when shit really starts to go down Coming back. This fucking shot. This fucking shot. Do you know how much I have looked at this fucking shot? I, mm, I have thoughts. I have thoughts. Gorgeous. Look at this. They're in the reflection on the water here. It's a lovely shot. And I'm sure it would be made lovelier if it was in like total HD. Ugh. Again, budget, budget, budget. Look at the rats. We got a snack for you, Louie. Look at the rats. I have thoughts about this shot. And I feel like I should... I'll hold on to those thoughts for my next video. Just a little, like, teaser to put out there. <laughs> Armand stat, Les Mont, whatever you want to call it. It's real, and it'll haunt you for the rest of your days, babe. Where are we? Where are we? Need I remind you? Put that in full screen, bitch. <sighs> oh! <laughs> so yeah, that shot is definitely preceding this shot, or maybe after it. I would say preceding. Because, like, <laughs> look at the look in Armand's eyes here. He's, he's begging. He said, dude, eyeline straight on the tits. He's, like, mesmerized. He said, hello. I thought my breasts were the only hypnotic ones out here. But alas... Oh my god. I'm fine. I'm fine. This is first. This is episode five. Holy shit. Oh. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. No. I'm not emotionally ready to revisit that. I am. I I want to be eviscerated. I want my body uh, splayed open, etherized upon a... Uh, what is it? Upon the night? I don't know. P.S. Elliot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. We're going to move on. We're going to keep it real, girls. We're going to keep it really real. <laughs> How much is going to change the more that we unveil and uncover? I don't know. I just don't know. This lovely explosion. Memory is the monster. Not a monster. Not a vampire. The. The monster. The vampire. Let the people know. It is not an interview with a vampire. Memory is not a monster. The. The, bitches. This. So, like, 
Armand has Nicholas. We know that. We know that. How do we know that? Armand is pushed. Lestat away. Lestat comes charging again. I got distracted and never finished my thought. We see as it pans up, a brunette standing next to Armand in the, you know, clothing of the day. Who else would that be other than Nicholas? Why would Lestat be charging Armand as aggressively as he is if it wasn't Nicholas? I mean, come on, come on. Armand, being the very powerful cover master that he is, pushes him away yet again, much to the uh, anger and dissatisfaction of Lestat here, taking away his beloved Nicholas. R.A.P. Nicholas. Yet another character who deserved better, but honestly, it colors the story beautifully, so we'll allow it. He's a tragic character. He's doomed. He's a doomed, tragic character. What's not to love? There's nothing better than someone who is doomed by the narrative. Oh, that forehead vein deserves an Emmy nomination all on its own, okay? Not even, like, what Sam Reed does on his own. Oh my god. I don't even think he's a real person. He's not. He was crafted by Bravenins and sent down to destroy our world. He decided, actually, I don't think so. Because there's something very fun and interesting happening on this planet, and it's called acting. And I'm going to get into that, okay? And thank god. Because, wow, where would I be? Where would I be on this planet without Sam Reed? I don't know. I would be floating adrift with no real purpose or tether to um, the earth or solid ground. And he's brought me back here and then expanded my mind to what the universe has to unfold before me. I've experienced truths and realities you couldn't even fathom. Except you could. You could, because you've also witnessed his performance as Lestat in Interview with a Vampire Season 1. It's uh maybe perhaps like one of the greatest performances ever dedicated to a uh, film. Even though I'm sure this was all recorded on digital, but I'm going to say film because it sounds fancier anyways. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ew, dusty, crusty, gross revenant hands. This isn't the lady vampire that we saw from the very first July clip. This is another revenant. Babes, Eastern Europe, I'm psyched. True horror, true horror, let's go. We know this. We all know this. We all. Is this though? Is this from the trial? Do we think? I feel like I already looked into this because he is in a stripy shirt. He is in a stripy shirt. One second. He is in a stripy shirt here. <coughs> Girls. Girls. He's in a stripy shirt here. Is this Armand watching the trial unfold? Let's cut back. Let's cut back to Let's boost the color on this bitch. Cause like this has to be before the trial, right? Because Lestat is in this pinstripe suit here. But Armand's got his hair like up in a bow or something. Oh my god. <laughs> oh! Oh my god. I can't I can't look at that. Sorry. I can't look at this. I can't look at this. Um, without going fucking crazy. But like, what is our mind? I don't think he's wearing the same thing here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Also, I have a whole new theory about all of this. And I, uh, don't. Yeah. Okay. Next video. Yes! Louis! Burn this shit down. This is when he's burning shit down. This is when he's burning shit down, as he should. I want to know, for me, what happened between us. As he should. Okay, this right here, I want to know, for me, what happened between us. Louis in the black hoodie, right? 
Yes, he is. Because, as I pointed out before, this is later on, or this is starting out, pieces of me, uh, pieces of my life. I knew who I was without those pieces. This whole conversation, this has to be, this has to be like late, like episode seven or eight or something. So I'm dividing everything up in my mind as like first half of the season, second half of the season. First half of the season is like still when uh, Louie and Armand are trying to pretend like things are peachy keen. And then second half is going to be when Louie is kind of coming to and realizing actually maybe there's more to this than I thought. I say second, se second half and actually I think, well, yeah. I think that's going to really start in episode four and I'll tell you why in my next video because I'm going to save some things for that. Yes, Daniel, figure your shit out. What happened between us? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I took a shot because I said there would be no Nicholas. But who the fuck do we think that is, right? Who the fuck do we think that is? <gasps> and you know what? Let's... <gasps> oh, hair down. Pussy out. Okay. Okay. Do we know? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Oh, shit. I don't have it. I'll just... I'll add the photo in post here. Autumn Brown, you're going to add the photo in post here. This, this for sure is from that set photo that was leaked of him like carrying the crucifix in here and being like bitch please you think i can't go into the churches you think i can't go into the holy places you think i'm a child of satan no i'm a child of god who just so happened to like be a vampire get over yourselves and like get out in the world you keep saying that i'm gonna be sent to hell and it keeps not fucking happening that's like me paraphrasing an actual quote in the book and it's a badass as hell. Thank you very much. So you guys take a shot. You take a shot for me. We got Nicholas in here. We got Nicholas up in this bitch. Who else would he be carrying out of Les Innocent? No one else. With brown, with brown hair? I mean, if you're taking volunteers to be carried like that. Hello. <gasps> oh my God. A cut editing editing look at that that's fucking brilliant to have the glass shattering very next frame glass shattering books falling calamity all about oh my god like props again to everybody involved in making this but this is fucking wild here's the thing so we've got madeline and her shop i don't know if she owns it or if she just works there with the swastika spray painted onto the glass here and there was a clip um in the jones cut where madeline is it's like a little clip of madeline getting her head shaved and i thought that it was either from like after the trial the theater shaving her head or you know so this is 1945 paris like around that time and everything oof it was painful watching myself try to explain this horrible pit piece of history so editing autumn's taking over and gonna explain it a little bit better essentially after d-day after liberation um especially in france also some other countries uh, a way to kind of strike out after the war uh, and show anger for the German occupation was to funnel all of that rage to the women who were unfortunately left behind and under German occupancy, you know, in these countries like France. And essentially a hysteria was created uh, for this need to uh, play, you know, place rage somewhere. And people started accusing these women of being Nazi conspirators. And it didn't matter if you, like, just, like, had had a conversation once with a German soldier 
or like you know german soldiers like force forced you to house them in your house or whatever the case may be if the finger was pointed at you you were rounded up this was mob justice this wasn't like an official thing and um suffice it to say there's no trial there's no way to argue for yourself and uh you had your hair publicly shorn in front of the whole town uh to humiliate you oh it's a dog and then mark you in society because obviously it's going to take a while for your hair to grow back as being like a, a nazi slut essentially um so yeah i do think that that's going to be a contributing storyline moving forward you know dark part of history but this is uh a dark show so yeah this is uh wow <sighs> okay revenant vampire louis and claudia standing in the background like what girl we know which vampire we're talking about is this maybe so maybe does louis get attacked by that one vampire he kills him and this vampire comes around and is like bah, no and then attacks louis oh, oh. thoughts are being thought <laughs> I want to tell the real story. I want to tell the real story. Yeah, girl. Me too. <sighs> okay. Well, those are my thoughts. Uh, looking at the runtime of this. And we're already at an hour and a half. Just from me sitting at this... <laughs> so uh yeah guys hopefully i get this out in a decent amount of time and uh caught in a bad romance damn look at that it's almost midnight hey neighbors have you enjoyed my chat? Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Um, so many good things. So many good things to go through. You know what? Give me one second. Okay. Can I just say? Can I just say, all right, so my brother-in-law texted me today and was like, hey, what are you doing? I was like, I mean, currently not much. Turns out he's in fucking Colorado. He's in fucking Colorado and he didn't tell me until today. And um, he was like, yo, you want to hang out? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I do. And he was asking me, like, do I want to come up and see him or does he want to come down and see me? And, like, keep in mind, I don't see this man ever because he lives in Tennessee and I live in Colorado. And despite it all, I was like, well, yeah, I want to see you, but um, it can't get in the way of me uh, filming a certain video tonight because that's of most importance because I have to watch the interview with the vampire official trailer when it releases. And, um, wow. I was so right. I'm so right. It's called Priorities, and we should all have them. It's interview with the vampire, then family, then friends, then, like, emotional and mental well-being. Okay? That's the standing here. I will say, we did end up hanging out. It was great. He did bash on Interview with a Vampire, but he also tore his MCL. So, just throwing that out there, that's kind of what happens if you uh, have shit to say about the best show of the past decade. Perhaps the past ever, you know? So yeah, to so all you people out there, any, any haters out there, talk ill of Interview and your knee will pop out of socket. That's just what's going to happen. So don't do it. Love the show. Love me. And um, carry on. This is this is to you guys actually taking the uh, shot for Nicholas showing up. And also visiting Helen, Georgia. Because it's a cool place to go to. Helen, Georgia. That's coolest place. <laughs>
it's a Bavarian themed town in Georgia. It's very random. So that's why I did the whole German accent thing. That's what it looks like. Okay. Yeah. Cheers. What a show. What a fucking show. <laughs> Who's doing it like them? Not a soul. Okay. Everybody out there, they want what Interview with a Vampire has. And they just don't have it. They just don't have it. I'll, uh, I'll see you when I see you. I'll be having a good time editing this. It's going to be a shit show to edit. This might, I think this might be my longest video. This might just be my longest video. And, uh, y'all better watch it. Okay.